Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. I uh, felt very odd today. Even though the market was open on Monday, it was a half a day. Uh, Tuesday, we were off uh, for 4th of July. And it feels like so weird to start um, the week. It feels like you were starting literally in the middle of the week where we are. And when I started today's session, I, I, I kind of didn't know uh, what to expect. Just because we're coming off the 4th of July uh, holiday, a lot of people took off for the extended uh, for the extended time off. So we, we kind of wanted to see what was going to happen. You know, we had our game plan. Uh, a lot of names we've been watching and we've been talking about for the last week or so uh, finally came out of ranges. Meta, a uh, really, really big move today. Square came out of a range today, which looks really, really good uh, for the rest of the week. But there was a lot of names that kind of just sat there and did absolutely nothing or put in kind of lower highs from last week. And I, and I think that's something that we should really, you know, pay attention to. Uh, before we go on to that, again, for all you guys who are brand new to the channel, again, thank you very much for watching. We appreciate and we value uh, your viewership. Uh, if you could be so kind, if you are getting value, just click like, uh, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we can continue uh, to provide uh, the nightly update for you guys and be on this journey uh, together. So it's something kind of what, you know, I started looking at, at charts uh, after the close, and I noticed, you know, we did this kind of little... I don't want to use the word double top because the, the word double top kind of signals that that's it. This rally is over. No, no, no. Let's not let's not you know jump the twelve spaces uh, in front of the horse. Uh, it looks like we did fail to take out the previous week's high, and that's something we have to pay a little bit close attention to going into tomorrow's session. Uh, it's not going to be you know pretty. It's not going to be obvious to a lot of new traders, especially uh, passive. Uh, participants of the market, but you know, I, I always look for the little things, and I, I always say on every single video, I, I try to be uh, prepared on both sides of the market. So once I kind of identified that, hey, we didn't take out the previous channel, and if you look at the last uh, three days of the queues, and, and you can make an argument, this was, you know, you'll see these are the two narrowest, three narrowest ranges that we've had probably in the last two and a half, three weeks. Now you can make an argument, um, you know, the Thursday candle where people were taking off ahead of the 4th of July weekend, Monday's candle, people are already on vacation, and today's candle, half of the people are on vacation. So we, we don't want to put a lot of, you know, a lot of thought or overthought into that, but I want to pay, I want to still pay attention to that. The fact that we're getting narrow candles and we didn't take out the previous week's highs it's just something to watch out for. Since I am kind of a little bit hesitant, or at least have my radar or in my defense systems up, now I start looking for groups, right, that didn't participate or they had big runs and starting already to uh, fail the previous week's channels. And if when you look at that group and you start looking and you start finding that group and you try to piece together this data, because again, all trading is, at least for me, is research, is getting data, putting the pieces together, and if everything is trading on one side at the same time and all sentiment full go, then the market is good. If everything's trading to the downside, nothing's rallying, then the market is, is, is bad. But here's one of those scenarios that's a little bit tricky. We're coming off a holiday weekend, and now we have to try to see if there is a little bit more teeth uh, to the bite. If the I don't want to use the word bears. Just a simple case of back test. And if we do put up another narrow range candle on the queues, I'm going to start to pay attention to it more and more. But the group that I found, and again, if you if you go through the Nasdaq 100, it's not really hiding. Uh, the group that I found that showed a little bit of weakness, you're not gonna you know you're not gonna be able to see that with the Nasdaq 100. I mean, realistically, the Qs were down a penny; they were flat. But if you look at the group that had the really big run up in the last couple of weeks, you'll notice they had a really big move down today. And that group is the semiconductors. You have Lamb Research going down 22 points. You had Mike. You had Micron. Uh, that came out with good numbers. You guys remember, came out with good numbers and they sold it. And Micron right now is sitting at the bottom of this channel here. Again, that's not a good thing, right? Uh, ASML, not a name that I usually trade, but again, you could clearly see it's sitting at the bottom of the range here, right? You see it? 
And so the 10-day moving average, it closed literally at the bottom of the range. If this bottom of the range fails tomorrow on ASML, maybe this thing gets hit as well. Uh, Intel that had a great, great run, right? Had a great, great run is close to, right? Close to the bottom of the ranges here. So if you, if you go through the NASDAQ 100 names, but especially in names of the semiconductors, right? And it's not going to be obvious because the SMHs are not at the bottom of the range. Although some names like ASML and MU uh, and uh, names like uh, Intel and AMAT reversed, uh, even NVIDIA reversed today, um, you know, they're, they're still way above their ranges and that's why they're not really shorts this is more of kind of a, a kind of a participation piece to kind of watch out if they pull down the rest of the market until the SMHs get below you know 147 i really have no you know no really big alarms being set off but this is one of those you know this is one of those groups that you could definitely pay attention to and if we have uh, another day of weakness tomorrow again there's if you go through the nasdaq 100 guys i think about it, there's only 100 names what, about 20 of them are semiconductors? It'll, it'll take you a minute and a half to do your, your watch list for today. You, you'll see uh, what names look uh, really, really bad. Um, you know, look, there's still a lot of really good looking charts as well. Uh, we talked about for, you know, a couple of weeks from Meta putting in a very long distribution. Had an awesome, awesome breakout today. Really awesome breakout today. Uh, we'll get to the pivots in a second. Uh, we talked about UPST. Uh, last night in the video, had a nice dollar pop before a little bit of profit taking as well. There's names that I like. There really are. There's names that have nothing to do with beta. Like, look at a name like Robinhood. Yes, I, I promise you, I'm not drinking, smoking, or anything else in between. Robinhood does not look bad. Robinhood had a big, juicy candle on Monday session and had an inside day today. They started coming for the 11, 11 and a half dollar weeklies. You know, keep let's keep an eye on this thing. Uh, for the next couple of days. This thing doesn't look uh, bad at all. Um, name like, for example, let me give you guys a couple of the names that I'm watching. Uh, names, for example, like look at AI. Look at some of these AI stocks, right? Meanly AI. AI broke out of today above the 10-day moving average. Let's let's watch this thing. This thing starts confirming today's channels tomorrow. Maybe this thing wakes up. Look at a name like Path, right? Path is another, uh, Path is another uh, AI type of stock, right? A stock got rejected right into supply but if they start coming and start reclaiming back the supply this thing could wake up so this is a this is a very unique market um but again i believe the whole theory of while well, slow market is summertime market again that's another long list of laundry names of of myths and you know and um you know and and like wives tale about what the stock the market is the market guys okay some days there's more participation some days less but there's no such thing as a slow market your sector might be slow your participation of your process might be slow and that's fine as well but the market's the market right if there's option flow and institutional money flow coming into the market stocks will move right and you'll see the pivots in a second so this is one of those scenarios that i think it's a very specific type of environment right now we're after a, a long holiday um kind of vacay right and now the question is do we trade the market or do we trade uh, the, the stocks of, you know, the stocks that are trading in the market. And that's the most important part. Again, there's no such thing as a stock market, guys. We've been saying this for years. It's now a market full of individual stocks. And these are the names I'm watching. Path, uh, AI, uh, Robinhood. Again, I'm watching for them to see if they, uh, if they confirm today's channels. Look at Square. Had a great, great breakout today. Uh, if Square confirms today's price action, maybe this thing uh, could wake up as well. Tesla, right? Tesla had an awesome, awesome inside day today. It didn't take out the previous day's highs. That's exactly kind of my little bit of concern uh, with the whole, you know, with the whole marketing and kind of the example was the cues that they just couldn't take out the last week's channel. So I just want to keep a close eye if this kind of has, you know, the potential to play out a little bit more. And again, this is where uh, we're going to use our research, especially on the semiconductor names uh, to see if we could have some value to the downside if indeed uh, the market gets pulled. So that's good. That's kind of it. So let me give you guys... Uh, well, yeah, let's talk about the, the pivots today. Um, you know, look, I, I've always said, uh, you know, if you're trading 10, 12 tickers a day, I, I don't know what you're doing. I really don't. Uh, you know, value is uh, predicated on the previous night's research. Okay. If the previous night's research is giving you three, four really good looks, I don't understand where you're getting the other 12, 13, 18 trades. Uh, the value is always your previous night's research. It'll, it'll give you the highest probability to confirm. And if it doesn't confirm, then you did your job. That means the market is reflecting your research. And today, uh, like every other day, we were prepared. Uh, we had alerts set and we always set alerts. Uh, even if a stock doesn't take out the price the next day, we always have alerts, uh, alerts set for and we're always ready. So let's talk about this. Marvel, 
uh, never, you know, never came close to the 6150. Affirm never got close to the 1654. Roblox, we've been watching this 43 level. It never got close to that level. Uh, UPST, we talked about this on the weekend video, 3884 uh, needs to build. Here is UPST, ran up about a buck, right? Had a nice little run up here uh, at the open. Yeah, nice little run up here at the open, ran up about a buck. Nice job uh, for all you guys who took it. Not a huge move, but uh, good enough. Uh, Riot, 1346 needs to build. Again, not a big move, but you know, it is what it is. Took out the 1346, uh, went to 1386. This thing still looks higher. These Bitcoin, um, you know, Bitcoin derivative names are still moving. Riot's moving up, uh, Mara's moving up. So 40, no, there's 40 cent pop on Mara. Uh, this was the big trade of the day, okay? This was the absolute big trade of the day. Uh, Meta, we've been talking about Meta for a couple of weeks. It's just been just going through distribution. And once Meta took out the 290 guys, you want to see a candle? Or as, as you guys remember, uh, what, what movie is that? Uh, I think it was Boys in the Hood. Yeah, you want to see a dead body? Right? This is called, called a dead body for shorts. Once it got above the 290 guys, no joke, this thing put up a $5 candle in a matter of minutes. Absolutely phenomenal move. My last sale was in the 94s. This damn thing went to almost on, you know, 98 and change. It's just phenomenal. Just an absolute phenomenal move. On Meta, they were coming for the 290s, the 295s, the 300 calls. So really, really strong move there. Uh, Tesla for experienced traders. It never. I wanted the dip in Tesla and never got there. It got to like 276 and change. Unfortunately, never got there. It went red to green, only put up a couple of dollar move, uh, and it failed at 284 and a quarter level. So again, Tesla resembles the Qs. So something just to watch out for. Uh, AMD, nice little pop uh, into supply, 1673. Uh, needs to build. Here is AMD. It took out the 1673 one perfect, perfectly in the 1760s. I was screaming, guys, make sales coming into supply 1760s, 1760s. And again, guys, if you don't if you don't know where these supply zones are, you are trading blind. It's where technical sellers meet emotional buyers, and this is where on demand uh, emotional sellers meeting technical buyers. Uh, usually, uh, the technical buyers and sellers are going to prevail. That's exactly. Uh, what happened there on uh, Netflix, not a big move at all. It got actually upgraded today, I guess, uh, upgraded, um, you know, from a, a sell to a neutral at Goldman. I uh, went up about a buck and changed nothing before it reversed. Uh, Google was good. Google was still good. I still have a runner on Google. Uh, 121.08 uh, needs to build. Uh, sold, you know, good chunk of it today uh, into supply into the 2240s. If Google could just get above this channel here, they were coming for uh, the 123, 125 weeklies, man, if they could just confirm today's channels tomorrow, maybe Google wakes up, but a really nice move on Google, I'm still holding a runner there. Uh, CRM didn't do anything yet. Uh, CRM popped like 25 cents, uh, basically closed, uh, you know, a little under 214, but it looks good. They were coming for uh, next week's 220 calls. A uh, little one, right? CLSK, uh, 516, 520 uh, needs to build. Here is CLSK. Right, took out this whole 516, 520 level, went to 538. Nice looking chart. Uh, looks like it's going to go uh, higher. And Boeing, right? Congratulations, all you guys took Boeing. 213 and a quarter, rejected two times, needs to build. Here is Boeing, right? Here is Boeing. Uh, took out the channel, uh, ran, up, uh, ran up about a buck, not a big move. But the point is, again, not every single trade is, is a meta going up four, five, six points. Not every single trade. Uh, is a Tesla going with 20 points? Sometimes 50 cents a dollar, dollar 50. Hey, it adds up, man. It really does add up. And when you have a market that is still resting and, and full market participants are still not there, all these trades, 50 cents, 60 cents a dollar, dollar 52 dollars, they they really could uh, make uh, you know make a nice little you know nice little impression uh, on your performance uh, for the day. So nice move there. And I believe that is it. Yeah, I believe that's it. So yeah, again, look, that, I shared my thoughts for tomorrow. Uh, one cool thing, guys, uh, there is an announcement. Um, if you guys know, uh, I've only done two or three interviews. Uh, two of them were with Chat with Traders, uh, excuse me, and two of them were with uh, my guy, St. Lucci. This was years ago. I, I, I don't do them anymore. Uh, I get approached all the time. I don't do any events. I don't do any speaking. Uh, but what we are doing is on Saturday, right, from 10 to 12, uh, we are doing a paddle, myself and three other gentlemen, uh, who are in our webinar. Two of them uh, trade via exclusively via options. I trade exclusively on equity. And there's a third gentleman, that, excuse me, there's a fourth gentleman that trades equity and futures, right? So it's a, it's a, it's a panel 
Uh, we're going to, you know, talk about obviously pivots and how they work and all that stuff, but it's going to be completely interactive. Uh, and we are going to kind of bounce questions all around. It's going to be really, a uh, really cool event. So if you are uh, curious, again, you are planning to join us uh, for next week, you know, make sure, you know, come aboard before the weekend so you can participate uh, in this virtual panel. I think it's going to be very, very neat. And this is something uh, that can really put, uh, you know, kind of cement uh, what we do uh, into your uh, DNA. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Uh, usually there is no Thursday videos, but since we had such a choppy day, a uh, choppy week, we only had like one day. Tomorrow, uh, I will record a video despite uh, it being my uh, day off. So hopefully uh, we can get some good action that we can uh, dissect tomorrow night. Guys, God bless. Have a great, great night, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.